the Roman politics watch. This is RP. Today, right, we are going to mine some more liars. This video is in build up to the one where I drop. Right, Sunday I come. You know, so many times you see me drop a video for build up to one next video, you know, so that video that was serious. People say, what's your problem with people like Tom Tavares and Bert Samuels playing such active role in politics? After all, it's just an... Let me tell you what the problem is. And the fact you can't see it is scary. Imagine employing a bunch of fishermen to write laws to get rid of fishes. Yeah. How much sense that make? I'm going to play a video also from the El Salvador president. See, when you love telling me about Canada, when you love telling me about, you know, over Sweden and all that, them place they don't know about Ironman level of badness. If you want to talk about having credibility and sorting out crime and gangs, I look at other countries that have serious gang issues like Ironman. So El Salvador right, is the ultimate right, case study. Because they can relate. This is ridiculous trying to compare Ironman. Imagine you have two people. Right, one of them, right, very attractive. The other one, not so much. Right. The one who is very attractive, right? I tell the one who is not attractive, say all you have to do is just do this and just smile and just walk around and people will come to you. you. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Telling me we're going to Winnipeg is not like Canada had the highest murder rate in the world and then fixed it. It's not like Sweden had the highest murder rate in the world and fixed it. These countries, right, in their recent history, never have to deal with the Ironman and El Salvador and Trinidad have to deal with. Notice when Sweden start get for them problems, with them they them turn fool. Right? Them they even remember they are them are the masters of social intervention. You know, having time for them young situation get terrible and they became the highest right, murder rate in Europe. With them draw for legislation, not social intervention. With them preach because it's easy to be woke when you're affected. So I'm gonna give you a speech that Naib Bikele gave recently, where he spoke about the fact that. Lawyers and judges is a key part in how they manage to bring down El Salvador murder rate. Don't know. Time for bad minds and more lawyers. Why should it stop at scammers and artists? Let's spread our wings. Before we go into that special Patreon birthday shout out, this one goes out to Sakina. And look at Sakina. The princess is five years old today. This one is coming from her father, Vinny. I mean, I know, say, right? I love right? the video that I do on the family and everything, especially when you're going through his own issues. You know, I'm saying, I'm going really right? give my outlook on life. Way. You know? I mean, I'm just have a little YouTube and I'm say, oh, big up yourself. I don't want to go into too much details, but when I read certain things, I'm just people are saying, you know, certain videos actually right? help them navigate certain things they were going through. Right? It makes bad minding scammers and fighting against artists worth it. I know that Sakina, anyone she realize him now listen to the video and she knows you the look at YouTube and she ask him, Daddy, what's going on? You know what? The look at YouTube and tell him. Nobody thinks that people have sense that they know that they have a ton, Daddy. They know what's going on. They know what you listen to. Sakina, big up yourself. My daddy love you. See you? Right. Enjoy your beautiful like princess. I'm going to move into the video now. People say, you talk about Tom Tavares, Finston and Bert Samuels and you talk about the defense lawyer them on. In Ironman, the people who are supposed to write the laws to dismantle gangs are employed by the said gangs to fight their cases in court. The fact you can't see that problem says more about you than it says about me. And that's coming from somebody who I'm just saying about my artists and scammers. The people who are supposed to write the laws to dismantle gangs are employed by the said gangs. The people who are supposed to write the laws to stop Jim Brown and Tesha are employed by Jim Brown and Tesha. Imagine there's a problem with fishes. Be a fish in a place. I'm not talking about ice rock. I'm talking about actual fish. One of the people got a seagull catch. Be a fish in a place to want to get rid of some fishes. 
the parliament that is gathered, right, the legislators, right, the, the MPs, the senators, the councillors, everybody, right, the permanent secretaries, the NGOs, everybody gather. We are get rid of fishes. We want to get rid of fishes, right? So them say. When you look, I be a fisherman up there. Fishermen are going to get rid of fishes. That's what happens when you have Jim Brown lawyer, Tesha lawyer, Blackman lawyer. So them draft up laws and draft up anti gang. Next thing is the anti gang benefit the gangs. Because it's better to be charged an anti gang than without it. You can get nine years for your murder upon anti gang. After the whole big first world clansman case, after what C4 and the banker went through, we see man get nine years. You take them and go fling with them clients for an eternity. Let me find unicorn now. Them say my bad man liar. Everything them people take personal. I like, say nothing about this. Them say me hear this. Me say me hear this. We have lawyers in the FBI. We have your lawyers who link regular. Say no, sir, real thing. I say game go for real. The obsession with law in Ariman trails back to the olden days when only certain professions in Jamaica were considered smuddy. Mainly the doctor and the lawyer, smuddy. If you didn't come from the, the elites and the aristocrats, the next best thing you could be was a doctor or lawyer. Jamaican parents force their children into these fields so they can leech off the status that come along with it. Let me repeat that card. I don't know. I'm a YouTuber. I offend some people today. Jamaican parents force their children into these fields, medicine and law, so they can leech off the status that comes. Oh, my child is a lawyer! Ever fill out a farm in Ironman and look on some list of professions back in the day? It used to be even smaller. Last time I see one, the list increased. But there was a time when the list was small. You notice it's like doctor, lawyer, right? JDF personnel above the rank of this. JCF above the rank of this. That's how the form look. The idea that anybody from a whole profession can vouch for is ridiculous. Any lawyer can just sign a piece of farm and say, you're going on a road. Any doctor. The doctor could literally be a pedo. But once he's a doctor, he can sign it off. Imagine that logic applied to countries. Imagine them say only Americans, French, and Germans can you know, sign off on your job application. Every other country in the world, right, after the only them country they can you'd be like that. Why? Any any American, even one of them are like you know, junkie, right? as long as it's American. That wouldn't make sense. If the YouTube algorithm was created by Jamaicans, people like me wouldn't get a view because they would have to say you have to go present right, your surfy ticket in Ironman. The idea that you need to you have to you have to qualify if you have sense. So in the meantime, the video drop and I understand my build up. I don't think that makes sense. Before I'm going to let me play the naive Bikile speech. The same thing was happening in El Salvador. In the span of less than a decade, gangs took control of all the country and our society. They evolved into a parallel government, controlling elections and even political parties. Every aspect of the daily life of most people was controlled by the gangs. Murder capital of the world is a tragic title to hold. Getting rid of, what, of that was the bare minimum we had to achieve in order to even start thinking about rebuilding our country. But jumping out of the water when it's already boiling is an almost impossible feat. You are not there yet. And believe me, you don't want to be. We did the unthinkable to cleanse our society. We arrested the terrorists, we, but we have to remove corrupt judges and corrupt attorneys and prosecutors. This corrupt judges 
these corrupt judges and prosecutors who are setting the gangs, the gang members free. And it wasn't just the gangs. The corrupt system work in tandem with the so-called international community, the NGOs, and of course the fake news, just like it happens here in the United States. Un unelected bureaucrats are trying to instate public policy. Who elected them? A short part I didn't can't take out the rest of too. Never post the full thing on page. We realize that Jamaicans don't intend to build a nation. That is why them to think like, oh, make the British be the final core. That shows me you have no intention of building a nation. Because you do not getting stronger by outsourcing anything. If you want to become a stronger person, if you want to lift more weights, you don't go, oh, the 20 pound heavy, so make that person over there lift it for me. You will never get stronger. So me and Jimmy can say, well, we, our system is weak, so make them do it for you. That shows me you have no intention of being an independent nation, a true sovereign nation. Because yes, we know that the judge is them shaky and the lie them shaky. But who's gonna fix that system? Billy Joe in London? Be realistic here. Yeah. Let me give you an article from the New York Times. Because them drop in research night work. Because we're telling already the opinion articles them from certain platforms. You know, really, nothing. But when I'm sure the data and the research, no, I mean, can't say, all right, see data for myself. We work with them. They were looking into the fact that Uncle Sam, like Ariman, lawyers are overrepresented. Overrepresented. The idea that Uncle Sam Place is one of is, people think Uncle Sam Place is like utopia where you know everybody just big and rich and the corruption go on and them just like stop everything and solve the murder case. Uncle Sam has had a tremendous influence on on Iron Man in every way. This is what the article said. I put it on the screen. I quote, Among both Democrats and Republicans, lawyers are staggeringly overrepresented. Sounds familiar? Staggeringly overrepresented. They constitute less than 1% of the population, but more than one third of the host. Think about that. Sounds familiar? Less than 1% of the population, but make up one third of the host. One third is at least 30%. At least, right? It's 33 and one third to be precise. But look at this guy, 30, 30%. Three arguments. How 1% of the you know, career in all of the country full up the host? Article goes on to state, perhaps. It is natural for people writing laws to study them first. You can say, well, see, that, well, that makes sense if it was reflected globally, but it's not. But the United States is an exception internationally. It's not Jamaica the same, but because Jamaica is small, they ignore Jamaica. It's not an exception. Jamaica is also right, similar where, where lawyers are staggeringly overrepresented. Right. But... I understand Ireland is a small country, so they live now. When they do them, when they look across the world, they now look one country the size of Jamaica. Research by Adam Bonica of Stanford and Maya Sen of Harvard. Ooh, big school them there. Man of the YouTuber school. Found that in Sweden, France, and Denmark, lawyers made up less than 10% of the legislature. Less than 10%. You know what's interesting about this? Sweden, Denmark and France, especially Sweden and Denmark, are way less corrupt than the United States. Way less. Did you know that? Or are you thinking that places like America and UK have corruption? Let me explain something to you. According to the CPI, the Corruption Perception Index, Denmark is number one, Sweden is sixth. In the whole world. France is 20. Still higher than the United States. How interesting. So more lawyers don't equal less corruption. Uh oh. You would think more lawyers, more legal people equal better laws, 
better protection of the laws and upholding of the laws but that is not the case as we see here denmark is number one the least corrupt country in the whole world less than 10 percent look a bit single digits interesting no goes on to state not only are lawyers more likely to run for office they are also more likely to win this success is largely because of the advantage they have in early fundraising drawing from professional networks of other lawyers and affluent professionals oh dear listen to the part you know? once in office lawyers tend to vote in a way that benefits their profession oh lord have mercy 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 they are less likely to support laws that would cap awards for damages or I'm not going to read that whole article here. I'm not going to read the whole about this article. One thing I like about Uncle Sam Place though, I have to tell you already. I'm not, like some people just, just broadly burn out this and broadly burn out that. I can see places in the world and say, I like how they do this, I like how they do this. Don't like how they do that, I don't like how they do that. No things I don't like about Uncle Sam Machine. One thing I like about them, or right, another thing I like about them, you already know the first one. In our Uncle Sam place, the election process in terms of who them can pick to be leaders, I think it's one of the best in the world. That's how you truly find the cream of the crop. When the man can throw him hat in other ways, yes, all right, in me I work with. Jamaica's system is based off the UK system, the Westminster thing. So you vote for the MP, so there's a leader for the party, you vote for your MP, and then the, the party will get the most MP win the election, and then the leader of the party become the Prime Minister. But what happens if I don't rate the leader of the party, but I rate my MP? What if I rate the leader of the party, but I don't rate my MP? Now I have to vote for at least one smarty women I rate. Think about it now, man. I think my MP is competent, but I think the leader of the party is incompetent. So now, if I vote for my MP, who I think is competent, I'm going to help put an incompetent man in power. Switch the other way around. So my MP is incompetent, crooked in every way, shape or form. But the leader of the party is a great man and a great leader. More want him in a power. So now I have to go vote for a crooked and incompetent MP to get the person who more this is a joke. But people who are way more educated than me decided this system is great and it's been in place for a long time. Uncle Sam's system is way better. Somebody can turn up fresh ideas, fresh this, fresh that, don't even need to be a career politician and people can say, that's my lead over this one. If him fail, vote him out. Fine, move on. Find the next one. It's not like, say, the, the other one, the logo do nothing anyway. That's, that's me telling you all this work already, you know, because people love going like, say, or even with the whole independent candidates who run in the army. If an independent candidate go in there, or a third party go in there, go fail, what's new? What's new? You, you're poor already anyway. Your PNP, NP wasn't doing anything for the community. The JLP MP wasn't doing anything for the community. So if an independent candidate go in there and not know for the community, what's new? And this article focused on just the legislators. In an Ironman, enough people hold great influence in the politics even though they're not in the house. For example, people like Bert Samuels and them people and them big in the politics. Right? They have a influence in the party and politics, but they don't have a seat in the house. So when they're broadening over this, sir, yes, yes, sir. I'm just a fisherman, they might try to get rid of fish. Speaking about corruption rankings. In case you're wondering where Jamaica is on that list, Jamaica is 69. Yes, yes, I know. Me and man, I say it already. Yo, burn off. Stop kidding on yourself. Do man, they're talking about everything. Jamaica, 69. Out of 180. 69 out of 180. Jamaica is nowhere near the most corrupt nation on earth. These are false narratives fed to the masses mainly by entertainers and people who are more educated than them and people that's not them yet. Jamaica is nowhere near one of the most corrupt countries on earth. Nowhere near. 69 out of 100. 
180 countries they on the list and Jamaica is 69. That means there's at least, at least 100 countries way more corrupt than Ireland. man. If corruption equal high murder rate, then Sweden wouldn't have the highest murder rate in Europe and Jamaica wouldn't have the highest murder rate, or at least top three in the world. If corruption has a causal effect on high murder rate, Sweden wouldn't be topping murder rate in Europe. They are sixth for least corrupt in the whole world. Jamaica wouldn't be topping global murder rates. We're not even halfway down the path. What's, what's half of 180? 90. We're not even halfway down the list. When the arguments are dead, you know, culture and mindset, but don't listen to little YouTuber. Why well, listen to your lecture up are you? Right. They've done you well all these years, right? Another part of the article says The path to the house starts with higher education. About half of members graduated from public universities, often in their home states, but more than ten percent of representatives have bachelor's degree from elite private colleges. Listen to the part I know you know because and I may have said this now, you know. And I may have said this now, you know. I kind of know some anything a bad mind already. But you hear them say about the party. It makes sense to elect educated leaders. Of course, that makes sense. Of course, of course you want your leaders to be educated. What does educated mean? Educated don't mean bachelor's, master's, and PhD. Goes on to state. And voters seem to think a college education is a necessary qualification for office. Voters think that because that's what they were told. Say, somebody with a master's have more sense than the next somebody over here, so. Well, listen to this. But the link between having a degree and being a more effective politician is tenuous. Research, and if you look on the screen, you see, it underlined in the blue, this card is a link. When you click on the link, you can go see the research. Research and legislators in the United States and in Brazil Two big countries with a big sample size. It shows that lawmakers with more formal education are not more productive, more popular, or less likely to be corrupt. Three things them say, and I'm going to say it individually. Lawmakers with more formal education are not more productive. They are not more popular amongst the people. And they are not less likely to be corrupt. In other words, more degrees don't equal less corruption. If that was the case, Iron Man would be in the top 10 right. for less corruption. How many politicians in Jamaica you know not have some kind of formal education or some kind of degree or something? How many of them? Very few. Jamaicans like the Americans, of course, have been brainwashed to believe say degree equals sense. And spookily enough, Uncle Sam, like Jamaica, have a system in place where, let's face it, the narrative is set by the universities and the lecturers because that in itself is a multi-billion dollar industry. Multi-billion dollar, probably trillion dollar industry in America. The college attendance industry. It's not like they're putting out the best and the brightest minds you've ever seen, it's not like they're putting out geniuses. In Ironman, is, is Yui pumping out the greatest mind we've ever seen? Is Yui pumping out the next generation of creators and innovators? No, it's not. The only them degree they serve no use to man or beast. Right? But they will happily tell us if you go take on a million dollar worth of debt. Right? If you get the degree, and when they go into the real world, they realize it's not no use. Right? All degrees are not created equal. Right? Now, for you, they might push to go in a UE and push to go over here. So, between them, send them go on trade school. But it's business, I guess. Big business, too. And if you tell a youth, they say, I try to yeah, fight against him. I try to stop him from getting him. Nobody wants to stop him from getting nothing, bro. Do what you want to do. But, I mean, you say all degrees are not equal. Some fields and some careers, yes, you need a degree. And a degree, I've got to carry to the next level. But enough people right now, still under them dead end job, stuck in debt. And right, living hand to mouth because money can't be instant to spend them last or only could make him out degree when I have no use in the real world. Right, your generic degree is a dime a dozen. Supply is great. Demand is low. 
pays low. If you look at the countries like Germany and China and places where Japan are well known for you know, manufacturing and building things and creating things and innovating things, you will see that you will see that they have excellent trade schools. If I'm going to put myself in crazy debt, they can't stop me. It must be something I know. Right, I've always be in demand. The world will never not need plumbers. The world will never ever not need mechanics and electricians. The world will never ever not need carpenters. Never ever ever, as long as there's human beings walking on this earth. Them vague title where they make up the gear, make it sound like that's something I do. You know that. You know them job, right? They might make up a title gear, cause they really actually know what you do. Right. Anyway, that's enough bad minding for now. Let me move on to this part, and let me get to the point I was making with this whole certain professions now, House of Parliament and everything there. If you're going to have a Jamaica where people from all walks can feel like setting them apart of the, the country, right, and feel like the country right, make for them too, that have a start in a legislation, that have a start in a, the House of Fraudulent. We need a broader representation of careers in the house of fraudulent. That's why the laws are so dominant, because they're written by people who well, don't know what's going on in the real world. They live in a bubble. That's why lawyers come out with the answer ban pillion because they live no say no for them don't know say their whole parishes, their whole sections of parishes where bike taxi are the only way to reach a yard. The only way you can reach a yard is to ride on the back of a bike. They don't know that because they live in a bubble. They would know that if a broader selection of people was in the house of fraudulent. You need more trade people in the house of fraudulent. Is there any reason why we can't have one, two, and three carpenter, one electrician, or something? What is the reason why we can't have a Higla as an MP? I'll tell you why. Because when you hear Carpenter or plumber or higgler, you automatically think dunce. Let me say that one more time. When you hear carpenter and plumber and higgler, you automatically think dunce. Not that bright, slow, belong long at the back, way long at the back of this Because you have been brainwashed to think only certain careers equal of sense. All a politician does is come up with ideas plans and then execute said ideas and plans there is no reason no reason why a competent right, not all them have to demonstrate all somebody has to demonstrate to me to get my vote is that them tell me what they mandate let me hear your ideas right, let me hear your plan to execute said ideas and then let me find out, say you're involved with clansmen and one other. Let me find out, say a track record, and mix up on this and that. And you can get my vote. Because clearly it's not working out with the bag of lawyers and doctors. It's not. You have no results for sure for owners. No results for sure for you. Jamaica should have the best laws and the best legal system in the world, the amount of lawyers are man. I've had over the years in the politics. It's not working out now. If people who come from the more quote unquote working class were represented in Jamaican politics, then when certain laws are passed, somebody in there who actually have real world experience can say, Yo, brother, I saw that working. I saw that work. Can okay, we do this? And this is going to happen. I'm living in a bubble, man. And bubbles get burst. So with that said, I rest my case. Remember, so we we'll, we'll get called to the bar, you know, so I rest my case. Right. Patient squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, more life. Ultra squad, see you circling. Bless.